In today's video, we turn this to that. What we want to do is just make this into a double door to be able to fit the riding mower in it. Um, right now, it's in, in the people's garage, so it doesn't quite work in there if they want to park a car. What I'll do first is start removing a few of these studs, re-support these floor joists with some 2x4s that I have out there. Um, get everything kind of structurally sound before I go ripping down the wall. All right, so our materials here are uh, good one side Douglas fir 5 8 We've just cut it down to size here. It's gonna be uh, 30 by 80 each door. So we'll have a 60 inch opening, um, which is big enough for the riding mower to get through. First things first, get some two by fours, resupport these four rafters um, so we can start widening this door. Rafters have been resupported, and now we can start tearing off the studs here. I'm just working on removing the two old 2x4s. Two I've gone ahead and cut the nails that go through the top plate down into it. There will also be those nails uh, into the bottom plate that I'll have to cut off with the Sawzall and somehow I'll have to figure out how to cut the nails um, that go through the sheathing into the 2x4 itself. They'll be however often they nailed them, we'll have to remove those as well, and then the 2x4 should come out cleanly. Unfortunately, I don't have a longer blade for my uh, Sawzall, so I can't actually get the angle I need to cut the sheathing nails off. So I'm going to try and just to pry them, and hopefully the nail heads pop through, um, and it doesn't give me a, too much of a struggle. A little more difficult than expected. <laughs> and a new plan of attack. I think instead of trying to rip out this other 2x4, which will cause me the same grief, what I'm gonna do is, I have a laser level, so what I can do is shoot my laser where the height of the door will be, where I'll have my jack studs, and then I can cut off these studs here at that height cut off the siding with the 2x4 attached to it and just forget about it. I think that'll be easier and there's no reason I can't do that. So I'll shoot my laser level at the height of this jack stud and I'll leave that one in. And that will be my height for my other stud on the other side of the door there. I got my laser level set up here, there, and I'm shooting my line to the height of this jack stud. So I'll leave this stud in place and that will be my line for my other jack stud, which will go here-ish. All right, I got my uh, 60 inches for my door width. Now that I have that mark, I'm gonna get my laser out again and plumb up and down, make a line, and that's where I'll cut through uh, the sheathing and the siding. A little more depth, like a quarter inch probably. Bottom one's on there, pretty good. <laughs>
We've removed the siding and we found a little note from Nancy back in 1979. I'll show you the gist of it here. I don't know if you can read that or not. Nancy Ann, she's 14 and looking for a pen pal. And there's our hole. Battery's almost eight. Hey? Battery's almost dead on this one too. Shoot. There goes the old lintel. Give you a look here. So that's where the old lintel was. I just removed that. And now we cut our new lintel to size. Because of the um, lumber shortage, because of COVID and all that that's going on this past year, we're gonna reuse this two by six. Just gotta pull out these big nails in it. And that will be our uh, new lintel. All right, got the lintel in. Um, we only had length enough to do one. So as you can see, I tucked it into the back side of it. And after we frame up everything, we can order another two by six and slip it on the face and nail it in. And that will be okay. Um, right now we're cutting the cripples that go in between the lintel um, underneath the floor joist to support the load so it transfers down onto the beam four and thirteen all right we got the framing all done on the inside here I think we're ready to hang the doors there's a the door here are the hinges we got. They'll be installed on the back side of the door so you won't even see them, but yeah, pretty nice. Right there. Sure. They're inward swinging doors. All right, we've uh, finished up here. We're just missing the casing that goes around the perimeter to trim it out. And we're missing the latch. So we are gonna have to go get more materials, but that is the installation of uh, barn doors from a single door. Hope you enjoyed. I forget which side I set it on. To that. <laughs>